Hi everyone, we are back and it's our final problem set, uh, P set 8. So I know, everyone's just sad and we, we never want to leave, but let's, let's finish up. So I'm going to quit the kernel and I'm going to delete everything on here. And let's go ahead. So I have some materials that I need to look up. So I need to look up nickel equals something. So does cobalt equal something? Uh, CD equals something. Nickel, cobalt, all those. Then we need nickel, CD, PB, SN. You'll see what we're doing in a second. CU, FE, PT. And I think that's it. So now let's go searching through. So let's go and search. We have our handy dandy table here. Let's go ahead. And actually we're gonna to need to look up some of these. But nickel we have minus 0 0.25. What else? We need to look up our, actually, <clears throat> excuse me. Now is the time we have to actually go and look up our nice little, where's our files? on canvas let's look at our lectures let's look at here we go corrosion powerpoint let's download it and let's open it up do, 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 do. here we go don't worry we're coming all right so let's go ahead let's grab our values here let's put our oops Let's go over here, let's go over here, and then now let's get, actually we can see it right here. So let's see, cobalt, minus 0 0.277, cadmium, minus 0.403, lead, PB, minus 0.126, SN is going to be minus 0.136, CU is going to be CU is going to be 0.340. FE is going to be minus 0 0.440. Platinum is going to be 1.2. Very high. All right. So let's go back to our problem, and because we are asked, what are we asked? Um, fill the table. Correct any unit. Calculate uh, for the standard conditions here. So make any corrections. So we're actually gonna solve it for all of them. So remember, it's gonna be our positive terminal minus our negative terminal. So we will do NI minus CO, then we'll do CD minus NI, then we'll do PB minus SN, then we'll do CU minus CO, then we'll do FE minus PT, and we see there is a mistake here. That's not good. Um, and those are all our values. What are standard conditions? Temperature equals 298K, our pressure equals 1 ATM, and we're in basically a one molar solution of our own ions. Um, so those are the standard conditions. For the first standard condition, what materials will corrode? So we know that if we have a positive voltage, we are moving from our negative terminal to the positive terminal in terms of our electrons. So if we have a positive value, that means our negative material is corroding. So here, CO is corroding. Here, CD is corroding because we're negative. So it's electrons are falling the other way. SN here, CO here, and iron is corroding in our standard conditions. For the non-standard conditions, what materials are going to corrode? So for the non-standard conditions here, this will corrode, this will corrode, this will corrode, this will corrode, and, uh, excuse me, negative. So that means that this will corrode as well. Excellent. We got it. So, got it. Which materials are the true anode material? So, therefore, the true anode will be the ones that corrode. So this, 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 and the non-standard conditions. Got it. Turns out, the non-standard conditions occurred at 600K, 
what is the ratio of the concentration of cathode versus anode ions for the non-standard Mg and Pt measurements? What is the ratio uh, for standard conditions? Well, the ratio for cathode versus anode ions for standard conditions will be equal to 1. So our anode over our cathode, our positive terminal over our negative terminal. So if we're looking at the non-standard conditions for the, and excuse me, this should not be Mg, this should be Fe. Um, so we know that here in this condition, the way that we are seeing the electrons are moving from uh, basically positive to negative terminal. So if we were to write this out, and we can go ahead and do that here, we can say that our materials, the reactions are the following. Um, it's Fe goes to Fe2 plus plus 2E minus, whereas uh, platinum 2 plus plus 2E minus is going to platinum. So um, we are going to have, and actually we can see in lecture seven here for our Nernst equation, it will be essentially this ratio right here of our, again, you can say our anode or cathode, but we can actually write this out. Let's go ahead and write it out the full way. So our full cell reaction would be Fe plus platinum 2 plus goes to platinum plus Fe 2 plus. So it's going to be ratio of products over reactants. So it's going to be in that Fe 2 plus over um, Pt 2 plus. So again, what are we seeing? It's always going to be anode over cathode. So we are looking at the ratio concentration of cathode versus anode. So I'm just writing it as anode over the cathode. I'm going to solve it in that ratio. So we're going to do our E is minus 2.16 minus E naught. We're going to solve. So we also have Faraday's constant equals 96485. F, capital F, equals 96485. Um, we also know that, let's go to our uh, lecture seven here. We're gonna say that our R is equal to eight, 8.314, and in this problem, our n equals two number of moles of number of moles of electrons. So let's drag this. There we go. So E, the measured minus E naught, which we're going to do here over here, F E minus P T, um, set equal to minus R times 600. Kelvin divided by N times F, uh, and then all of that times the natural log, which is going to be log of our ratio. And let's solve. So this would be the ratio of anode to cathode. If I wanted cathode versus anode, I would do this. Then we'd get those values. We got it. Fantastic. And then finally, we are asked... I want to create a sacrificial anode uh, for the system PT and MG. What material would work? Um, could cadmium work? So if I have platinum and magnesium and I need to protect magnesium, so I'm going to go over here, um, I'm going to have to pick something that's even more electronegative. I'm going to have to pick something like NARK. Cadmium will not work. And that's the end of our journey together. I enjoyed having you all in class. Good luck on the final. We'll see you uh, later down the road. Bye.